Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil. This is where they want you. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Ah, yes, we've been expecting you. I recently wrote a book titled Anterior Knee Pain, Sorting Out the Causes. This video, this series of videos, is going to be a supplement to that book because some people do better with video, they do better with audio, or maybe they're lazy and don't want to read. So um, this is to help understand better. So if we look at pain in the front of the knee and all the different diagnoses, there's, I don't know, maybe about 50 different things that could be going on, 50 different diagnoses, probably more than that. And it's debated, does diagnosis matter too much? Because the people will say, how does it affect treatment? How does it affect rehab, uh, knowing what the exact diagnosis is? And I would say it helps to rule out uh, other issues. If you have pain in the front of your knee, how do you know you don't have a fracture in your patella? How do you know that uh, you don't have uh, plica irritation? How do you know that it is a tendon issue, a whole tendon issue, a tendinopathy? Maybe it's a young kid. Maybe they have an apophysis issue. There are so many things that could be going on. And for you to better understand the different signs and symptoms behind what is going on, it gives you more confidence and it can tell you a little bit about what rehab should look like. Although, if you take someone with pain in the front of their knee, you'll usually take them from where they are currently to where they want to be and you will just build them up based on their pain and how their function looks. So, across the different spectrum of knee issues, the rehab will usually probably look pretty similar outside of those more serious issues. It's not that diagnosis is crazy important, but it's also not that diagnosis is useless, uh, probably somewhere in the middle, and probably also depends on the case, because you could have a tumor, and you want to get that diagnosed. So, before we start getting into all these knee issues, I want to say a disclaimer that I am just a meathead who knows a little bit about pain in the front of the knee. I'm not a doctor. Uh, I don't mean for you to self-diagnose. I made this so that you can better understand what's going on in the front of your knee. You can understand it better. Maybe you could have a better conversation with your doctor, stuff like that. So if you do develop pain in the front of your knee, you should see a medical professional to get their care, to get their opinion, uh, to rule out the more serious things like bursal infections, uh, maybe a hip fracture that radiates pain to the knee, and the tumor. You want to make sure you don't have um, issues that are very bad. Uh, the point is, there are so many issues that you could have, and you want to exclude them. It's about ruling things out, and that's best done with a doctor. But hopefully this resource can provide some insight into what are your signs and symptoms, and maybe what is going on with your knee. So when we, as we go along with this series... I'm going to cover six main structures, six main areas at the front of the knee that are probably related to your pain, so you can have an idea of what is probably causing your pain. So stay tuned and find the link in the description if you have not downloaded the book. From where do you hail? 